In this video, I'm going to show you how to lazy load images using JavaScript. This is the file structure that I will be using. So let's start by creating an image tag. The source holds the placeholder image name and the data source attribute holds the name of the full size image. And we also need the lazy load class. For the JavaScript part, we'll need three event listeners, one for load, one for resize, and one for scroll. Now we'll make the function that loads all visible images. The load images function has to be called by all three event listeners because an image may be visible when the page is first loaded, resized, or it is scrolled. Now let's select all images and get their positions. In order to detect which images are visible, we'll need to use a function called getBoundingClientRectangle. For now, follow the code. I will explain how this works in a bit. Okay, I have everything ready, so let's take a look at the result. There you go, lazy loading images. Let's take a look at how this works. The get bounding client rectangle function returns several values. We're interested in the first four. 
The function generates the smallest rectangle the image can fit inside of and returns the position values of its sides. For an image to be considered fully visible, its top position cannot be negative. Left position cannot be negative. Bottom position has to be less than viewport height. And right position has to be less than viewport width. And that's how this works.